Hi, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you my Hackintosh upgrade for Final Cut Pro 10. The case that I use for this build is a Silverstone RVZ02. This case looks like a stealth warrior but packs a punch of a hulk. Initially I want to buy a R9 Fury or a R9 Nano but the power consumption might kill my system so I went to buy the RX 580 4GB version. The beauty of this card is only 170mm in length and it requires only 6 pin power connector which fits well in my case. I went with the Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard disk simply because SSDs are too costly when compared to 2016 when I first built this PC. I also have a Samsung SM951 AC HI version M.2 SSD for blazing fast boot up. The boot drive for Windows that I use is a Kingston SV300 120GB SSD. I really want to talk about the Silverstone SFX L power supply because it's a big pain in the back when it is loaded and the fan kicks in, especially at the low RPM, it makes a very bad noise. So I replaced the power supply fan with the Noctua NFAF12. It makes no noise and it's fantastic. There is simply no space in this case for doing any cable management whatsoever and the USB 3.0 cable is so thick you cannot even bend it in this case. There is nothing special about this optical drive, it's just a slim optical drive for the laptops. Time to compare the performance of this Hackintosh along with the Snazzy Labs iMac and the Snazzy Labs Frank and Mac Pro and I feel the performance is very good. If you like my videos hit the like button if you want to watch more videos like this hit the subscribe button thank you very much for watching this video have a great day bye bye